Hi hey guys, uh, in the past when I've talked about or shown uh, intercooler draining videos uh, or the process of me draining them and explaining the reasoning why, I always fail to mention one important part uh, because in the comments you always see the comment saying get a catch can, install a catch can. Well my point being the intercooler already is a catch can. Why spend the extra money to uh, buy and then install a catch can system so that the oil gets trapped in the can when the intercooler is already doing all of that for you. That's why I drain the intercooler. It's cheaper for the customer anyways. Drain it with at every oil change that way you can monitor how much oil is in there and go from there. Thanks for watching. Are you guys worried about boost leaks uh, after plugging the intercooler? with a screw. This, this is a boost leak. This is not a boost leak. I don't know how long this car was driven with the boost leak, with the, with the hose broken. So there is most likely oil that has collected here. Uh, oil collecting in here is perfectly normal. It's PCV oil. PCV stands for positive crankcase ventilation. So gases, gases that are in the oil pan and in the cylinder head get circulated, get sucked into the uh, turbo inlet and it goes through the turbo, the intercooler and up into the intake manifold. Through low speed driving, low RPM driving, there's odds are that more oil will collect just have a pan ready and when oil collects to a dangerous level the first hill that you climb or the first uh, car that you try to overtake on the freeway by extend via extended boost higher rpm all this oil is going to get pushed up into the intake and since oil is a combustible and diesel uh, can run on combustibles such as oil uh, or any other flammable liquid, uh, the engine can actually run away. So you can see in this case it stopped fairly quickly. So this is normal, okay? If you had a lot of oil in there, you would have either a PCB problem, a clogged intake, a restricted airflow with regards to that. Uh, and restricted airflow doesn't pick up the oil or doesn't carry the oil along or your turbo is bad obviously it's not always just a turbo it can be PCB fumes as well so like I said 90% of the oil that's in here maybe even 99% of the oil is PCB oil uh, so that's it keep checking those intercoolers if you don't I don't care I'm just trying to save you an engine from blowing up